Hi guys, welcome to the Canadian Nerd. I'm your host, Anthony, here at Bento Muso, a wonderful space for game making here with Kara Stone. Last time we saw Kara, we were at Stage Select Gaming Expo where she talked about what she was studying in terms of games and her thesis, which was actually very interesting. I'll let Kara explain it herself though. Kara, what were you talking about at Stage Select? I was talking about the intersection of mental health and video games. So not necessarily the representation of, of mental health or people struggling with mental health in video games, but how indie game developers are using their own personal stories and, and connecting with other people through video games as a medium. And how long did it take you to compile this research and have it be able to present to a panel? Uh, I mean, I was my, my master's thesis, so I did it, worked on it for about a year and a half. Uh, but I feel like I could do it faster. <laughs> you always want to be faster in game dev. Um, when we were at Stage Select, well, at the question period actually, uh, you had a very interesting comment that just kind of dragged on and on. It was a person who didn't really address any of the stuff in the actual panel, but wanted to talk about how coding and making a game require a certain kind of mindset. I don't know if you felt kind of uncomfortable out there, um, if it was weird to you, or if, if you find that a lot happening in, in what you do in the industry. Yeah, uh, well, I was talking about um, tools like Twine, and I'd use Game Salad to make my first game, Medication Meditation, uh, and Game Maker, and all of these tools that are making game making so much more accessible to people who don't know how to code or you know, have a learning disability in a specific way that they can't learn how to code, and all of these specific things that are um, kind of holding back everybody from making games, like thinking it's so techy. Uh, and he really, I think he probably like took offense to that. Yeah, you know, probably. probably dedicated a lot of his life to learning code and like learning all these different languages and, and being like, this is the only way to do it. Um, and then, you know, probably sees women and other people come along and, and uh, do it in a different way. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that sort of thing, you know, he just went on and on about, you know, I don't even really remember because it was like a lot <laughs> it was of... pretty, like, dragged on. Yeah, it dragged on and there was no real question there. Yeah, and I was like, what is your question? And uh, yeah, I mean, he really just wanted to prove that he knows how to code and how to program more than I do. And I was like, cool, you know? <laughs> this has been the Canadian Nerd. I'm Anthony. Thank you, Kara, for talking with me. If you want to check us out for more content, make sure you subscribe to that button. We have lots of neat stuff coming up and we're active on social media. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, all that cool stuff. Without our sponsors, we could not have made this video. So thank you to them and I will see you next time. See ya.